Hello everyone and welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2 where I plan to launch my previously introduced dropship to Minmus but first we have to get it into orbit. Ultimately it's supposed to drop base modules on the moon and I hope to use it in my moon base series. However I think that maybe Delta V wise we might be a little bit too tight and I might need it to rendezvous with a depot around the moon or something in order to refuel it but uh, trying it out with Minmus will give us an opportunity to check that. Uh, but there are many ways that we could potentially launch this to Minmus, or well, at least to orbit first. Let's do orbit first. Uh, and I've decided on the most streamlined but potentially dangerous way here, uh, which is having mainsails with some supplementary thuds down there, as uh, fuel tanks, and strapping the boosters under the wing. Strapping them under the wing is the most streamlined option. However, uh, you know the obvious problem. We have wings that are high on the platform which means that it's potentially unstable. The center of lift may be higher than the center of mass. And, uh, well, the indicators don't exactly help me much. Um, you see, the center of lift indicator, or center of pressure as they have it here, uh, is mysteriously off to the side. <laughs> um, and I don't know why. I don't know why it's off to the side. So maybe it's actually in that location, which would be problematic. Or maybe it's not in that location at all. We've put fins down here to help stabilize, but they're probably not as strong as the wings, and we can adjust. But I don't know by how much right now, and so we're going to find out. Uh, maybe there's some glitch on some part that means that the center of lift really will act like it's off to one side like that, even though everything's symmetrical about this axis. So we will see. And we will launch with a Kerbal, because I don't have a remote controller on here, and it looks like Bob. So, how will Bob do? Let's find out. Well, first of all, it isn't exploding r right away. So, we've done our strutting. We have struts, obviously. Um, it's a little bit complicated, because the boosters are really close to these rear thuds. I would, of course, like to tweak them in to make it even more streamlined, but those thuds would be in trouble. I already have to tuck in the thuds on the body in order to make it work out. Oh, we've got Bill and Bob. I didn't notice that. I think Bill might have snuck into our payload. Our payload, by the way, I wonder if I can open it here safely, um, is just one of these uh, little cabins. What are they called again? I right-clicked on it, but tuna can. They're a tuna can. So th th our payload is just a tuna can, and we're just going to plop it on the surface of Minmus, hopefully. Okie uh, dokie. Well... We've got a residual velocity of 1.1 meters per second for some reason. And we are going to try this. It's two main sails and four thuds there. I don't even trust the Delta V reading, so... We'll see. Um, well, that vector is going off a little bit. I don't want it to do that. I, I want you to stay up. Stay up. Stay up. To avoid the likely aerodynamic impl implications of this, we're going to go straight up for a while and then turn after a bit, after I feel it's safe. Uh, if I have a choice. I mean, there's a, a chance that I will have no choice, but we'll just try and go straight up for now. Uh, no. no. Oh, no, no, don't do that, don't do that. Oh, no, I did. I shouldn't have controlled it. Okay, okay, revert to launch, revert to launch. Let me just try- I, I won't interfere. We'll just lock up and I won't interfere. The cargo bay being on the belly obviously precludes a simple shuttle stack. So does the fact that we are not putting the main engines on the on the dropship side, right? We can't strap an external tank on this side because of the cargo bay. We can strap one on the top, sort of, but the wings are there. So we'd have to potentially attach it to that hydrogen tank. So we could put something on top, but you can also see that the vertical stabilizers eventually are eventually going to get in the way of things too. So it all gets very awkward if we can't put the boosters like this. Well, let's try this again. Lock up 1.2 meters per second now. Just let it correct itself. It's got sort of a sidestep here. Uh, it's wobbling on its own. I'm not touching it. There's no RCS on it. Okay. 
All right, all right, all right. Uh, I've seen enough. Maybe we should have bigger fins on the bottom. I mean, I don't know if it really will change anything to reshape them like this. There's been some debate about that. But at least it won't increase the mass. As far as I know, reshaping it does not increase the mass. As far as Delta V goes, it's saying we've got 4,340 here. So that's plenty to work with. Okay. A oh, this time it says 0.0. .0. That's nice. Let's hold up for a bit. I'll try it with just holding up, and then I'll try it with me manually controlling it, and see how that works. So right now we're like that. But these wing surfaces do count, so... And of course there's the canards. So that's a lot extra. But it seems more stable this time, so far. Cross your fingers, knock on wood. And through the clouds. Okay, well, we're going to have to try and turn, I think. Oh, it's turning on its own. <laughs> Hope for great, hope for great. Okay, well... That's potentially okay. Alright, it's crazy, but it just might work. Oh, I was lying about the Delta V. Ah, I was lying about the Delta V. I should have known that. Okay. Well, booster set. Let's see if that works. Ooh, nice though. Alright. And uh, let's get the nuclear engine on. Why'd you lie like that, game? Well, we will need all the time to apoapsis to get this thing to burn us to orbit. If it can, even. I'm getting a, the feeling that our nuclear engine acceleration is too minimal. Uh, let's try the thuds instead. Oh, 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 shut down, shut down. Control from here. We underfueled the ox a little bit. So that we would have extra of the methane for when we switch to en jet engine mode eventually, hopefully. Okay, switching again. I should action group. E I did action group everything, didn't I? Okay, I action group those. That's that one. Okay, I did action group things. All right, controlling from here again. This whole matter of re-entry, which is a whole separate thing. We didn't really do a re-entry test with this just from low carbon orbit yet. But yeah, it cheated me with the main cells and the thuds. I knew it was too good to be true on the Delta V, but it was very persistent about the Delta V figures. Okay, we have made orbit, though the method could do with some refinement, obviously. But we are here. Let's try and get to Minmus. But Delta V-wise, we certainly can't do the moon right now. Hmm, this being very perplexing. Distance from planet 1734. I'm not understanding how this could not be an encounter, but it's not really showing me an encounter, is it? 167 kilometers should surely be... should surely show some encounter. Right? Right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's weird. This is going to be a long burn. It says required Delta V 1400. Why... Why are you going to take that much? It's because of the long burn time of the nuke, I guess. The nuke is a lot less powerful than I was hoping it would be. 
Uh, I don't like it taking 400 extra meters per second to do things. That's not nice. Well, it looks like we get to use Fizz Warp now. This engine likes Fizz Warp. 10x even. But it's not holding prograde though. That's nowhere near what I wanted though. Oh, a throttle is locked? No! We overburned. This thing. The, it definitely wasn't 1,300 that was necessary. It was total lies. It told me we need 1,300 something and we do totally did not. Oh, there's an encounter. Alright, let's see how it's going. Alright, well we have 193 left in here. I think we'll reserve that for the burn back and use the thuds to capture instead. 417. We're not landing. We're just gonna capture and then return. Or, well, we need the Thud Delta V to land potentially, but then we, yeah. Um, let's just do a flyby correction and return. We'll fly by Mimis for this mission. We will need to reevaluate everything. We should probably get our launch boosters a little bit more robust so that they can actually get us closer to orbit so we don't have to use the nuclear engine and the thuds for that. And once we do that, we'll have more margin to land a module on Minmus. I think that'll at least solve that problem. The moon has got to be a whole other thing, but I'm guessing we're going to need to use a depot for that. But the maneuver notes lied about how much Delta V it would take. Totally wrong, thankfully. Scaring me with nearly 1,400 meters per second to get to Minmus. Okay, 37 kilometer periapsis. We don't have a free return right now. Maybe we should do a burn at periapsis to fix that up a bit. I think we'll take that and then we'll wait until we get into Kerbin space in order to pull that down. So, 151 at periapsis. Then we want to control from the top. Uh, yeah, actually, let's use the nuke for this. Okay, burning. Just make sure that the right thing is happening. Well, I don't know. Uh, as far as outward bound trajectories around Mimus, we should just take a look at our outbound trajectory is doing something sensible. Because there's no telling what are that part out there is actually telling us the truth. Uh, I think it is this time. I think we'll take that for now as our flyby of Minmus, post flyby of Minmus orbit around Kerbin and then we'll bring it down. Okay, Minmus. We have flown by it with Bill and Bob, but we want to try and make it back. We still have a periapsis of 12, 13 kilometers actually. We're carrying a lot of mod propellant that I'm not using right now. Is that all in the cockpit? Oh, it's probably in the in the cargo. Right, we're gonna be landing with cargo. That's not exactly what I want. Ooh, we're really in the dark, aren't we? Suddenly. Oh, the sun is pretending to still be out underneath Minmus there. That's talent for you. Okay. Um, we're in orbit around... This is not the orbit that I was supposed to have. <laughs> it messed me up a little bit. Or a lot. Whoops. That's more than I wanted it to cost. Let's just do it at Apoapsis. We don't have resources or anything. I mean, we don't have food, water, and oxygen. That still takes a lot, though. Oh, the moon's helping there, though. <laughs> we got a moon flyby? We've got a moon flyby, but it's gonna knock us into polar orbit. But I sort of don't mind that. Okay, we get a bonus moon flyby. 106, though. So we're going to have to use the thuds for... We'll just use th the thuds for it. Okay, and ignition. Uh, some roll, but that doesn't... Uh, it's deviating a bit. Well, that 
Let's let it get back over there. I don't know how low we want to go. We don't have to worry about re-entry heating or anything. Uh, that's... That's already 28 kilometers around Kerbin. Do we need the help of the moon? Uh, are we even getting the help of the moon now? Or is it even going to do anything good for us? <laughs> Let's see. Let's get rid of that. Oh, uh, we're not uh, encountering the moon this time. We're just going straight in 28 kilometers. We'll see what happens. This could be bad. Could be okay. I have no idea. Oh, the moon, moon, moon went right by us real quick. It's a close call. We have no RCS on this. And if we come straight down, we're definitely not going to the space center. Unless we're just completely lucky. So we're trying to air break into a lower orbit first. Yeah, I didn't get around to fitting the RCS yet. Since this mission wouldn't require docking or anything. I can't really hold the pitch up. It wants to go nose forward. It doesn't like to pitch up right now. Well, it'll still get some drag, so... Whatever it can do is fine, I suppose. Dirt surface. Well, we are going back up now. So I don't think we're coming straight down or anything. Our orbit looks like this. Oh, as so happens, we just passed the space center. That's pure luck. In fact, maybe we should like wait a if we could wait a day until the space center comes back over there, that would be handy. But it'd still be at nighttime that we'd be we would be landing. But I don't feel like rounding out our orbit with delta v. I don't think we can. Oh, well, we probably can, but it's probably not a good idea. I don't want to round out our orbit with Delta V and try to wait until the Space Center, I mean, gets over here? Yeah. I think we're going to just come down on the next pass exactly where our periapsis says we're going to be. And that means we've got a nice long stretch of land over here to work with. Hopefully not too bumpy. So we'll try to land over there. Fortunately, with the cargo in the bay, we can still land horizontally. Vertically, with the fuel depleted, we probably can still do it. We probably still have more than a thrust weight ratio of one, but... Horizontally is definitely easier around here. Vertic landing vertically is more of a minmus or moon thing. Okay, well the periapsis is over land, but we'll be hitting the atmosphere earlier than that. Well, let's see if it can hold any pitch at all. Well, it's, it's holding 40 a little bit better this time, at slower speeds, I suppose. But now it's maxed out, so it'll pitch down in the thicker part of the atmosphere. We'll probably get to land over there. Yeah. This balance for re-entry needs some work, but... Um, strictly speaking, without re-entry heating, we don't need to pitch up like that. We'll still slow down, as you can see. That whole thing is to ensure you get a whole lot of drag before you get into the thicker part of the atmosphere, which will heat you up too much. But without any thermal heating, there's no need to try and desperately get drag like that. And of course, that's more operands around Earth, where you're coming in at 7,800 meters per second, not 2,300. Or, in, this, in the case of this plane, 3,000 at certain points, but still. 7,800 is a whole other thing. We might as well just point prograde. It'll keep us stable. Getting drag sure would be helpful right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I can't get much drag right now. Well, we're gonna land in the dark at this rate. And in some mountains. Maybe we can pass the mountains. I can't really see what's beyond them, or if they actually end, like, right around there. We 
Again, I should have put lights on this. But again, the lights barely work at all. I'm preparing the jets. I said jets, we only have one jet. It's a whiplash. We could probably turn it on now. Let's just see if it can come on. It seems... Yeah, it's using fuel. Alright. Well, I can't really pull up right now. <laughs> it's probably not a good sign. Okay, I'm gonna give the jet a go. If only to use the fuel. It's using fuel, but I don't really see it on. And it's not giving thrust, though. Let me cycle it. Then again, it didn't accelerate us too much beyond 100 meters per second anyway. Okay, gear down. Got heavy landing gear. Oh, the coast is there. You can see blue there. Well, whatever it is below us, we're gonna land on it. This thing is very stubborn about sticking to prograde. Why don't I see any thrust from you anyway? Oh, it, this, it says it's not active. But then when I activate it, it doesn't do anything. It's busted. Yeah, it's not doing anything. That sucks. I wonder why. Intakes. Intake enabled. Oh, I can't pull up. Uh... Uh, oh, ow, ow, we ripped some things off. Oh, oh, it all smushed. Well, I blame that because we couldn't activate the jet at all. We had throttle up and everything. Maybe you had to cycle the throttle. Well, so this has been, uh, well, we, we launched it, but, and we got it to Minmus, but it's clearly been somewhat unsuccessful so we'll have to refine this system improve our launch system so we don't have to use so much fuel from the dropship in order to get to orbit and we'll see how it goes from there but yeah definitely not great i'll see what we can do about the jet maybe i had to throttle down and throttle up again and maybe it would work i'm not sure that can happen sometimes as a reset but anyway with that result, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.